Hey guys, this is Davo from Archon Esports bringing you a StarCraft 2 1v1 cast today. Yes! Awesome! I finally, finally had time to do it because of my university work, which is just a massive, massive pain in the backside, as many of you can probably imagine. Education. Cuh, who needs that? All you need in life to be happy is StarCraft and a load of fizzy drinks, pop tarts, and whatever else you like. Beer. Who knows? Who can knows? Anyway, down to business. The map today, Ohana Ladder Edition. The map from Reddit. Cast it. Yeah! In the top left-hand corner, we have our Red Zerg, who goes by the name of Nicky Boy. So he's kind of got the name of Nicky, yet he is still a boy, and that is absolutely fine. In the bottom right-hand corner today, we have Spalzer. And you could imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger saying his name in an angry tone like that, thus the accent. Expendables 2 out, I really want to see it. Mm, that movie does look pretty damn good. But then again, I've always been a softie for anything with Sylvester Stallone in. And that is just what I feel like in the movie. Viewing, I don't know where this is going. It's probably going to be really good, basically. Mm, and that is all freaking good three drones pulled off the line right here needless to say i'm not sure why those three pulled off maybe only just two would be the sensible amount seeing as you would want to hatch and to scout but no there is three we will surely see the cause of the three drones being pulled off at any second now maybe nicky boy going for a fast hatch on the third as well this does happen sometimes you know it's not entirely rare that some Zerg will place down a third hatch very, very quickly when their Protoss opponent blocks in. But Spoutzer, Spoutzer is up to something here. Pylon's going down at the bottom of Nicky Boy's ramp, ensuring that no reinforcements can come down. Reinforcements not being an issue at the moment, seeing as there is not even a spawning pool on the map. Forge just finishing, and I'm sure we're going to see a cannon attack going down right here coming down and attacking this hatchery oh no nicky boy is not going to be liking this at all drones pulled off the line to try and come and deal with this many pylons nicky boy using that um trick where you can stack drones all in once and attack a pylon very very quickly indeed using it so they kind of all attack at once it's a very good trick actually and there we go it does look like this attack might not be as successful as spouser wants it to be but the cannon is nevertheless going to get up and probably kill at least one drone. And there we go. The cannon goes down. Two pylons left here, just kind of sitting here. And the question is for Spouser right now, was that worth it? Meanwhile, uh-oh, proxy hatch going down in the main base of Spouser. Oh, no. Oh, no, Spouser. you got to scout this soon. Otherwise, you're in trouble, buddy. Big, big trouble indeed, especially seeing as two pylons have well, two pylons worth of minerals have also been, I wouldn't say wasted, because, I mean, obviously mining time has been lost, but maybe the not the not most as most efficient use of them as they could have been. So, Nicky Boy, is Nicky Boy going to get, is he going to be able to take advantage of this hatchery that Spouser still does not know about? Uh-oh, Nicky Boy. Nicky Boy is on it right now. Photon cannon coming down as well. Another one just to block in that photon cannon on the inside. Nicky Boy cannot be happy about the cannon rush that is going on right here. Meanwhile, the Nexus just finishing off the Spouser successfully expanded. Nicky Boy not being able to stop that from happening at the moment. And this hatchery is just going to get chipped away at, at the moment. Nicky Boy getting the spawning pool up, just finishing. We should be seeing some spine crawlers going down shortly, or maybe just a roach warren as well. Roaches are actually pretty damn good against cannons, as cannons aren't the most powerful unit in the game. There goes Spouso, sezing, sezing, saying, says that his expo is up. Nicky Boy, on the other hand, just says congrats. Doesn't my proxies up? Uh-oh. Spouser's in trouble right now. <laughs> Nicky Boy being extra cheeky. Spouser proudly saying... His expansion is up. Nicky Boy saying, my proxy's up. You're in trouble, man. And besides, who needs spine crawlers in the main when you have spine crawlers in your opponent's main? That is the question. Spouts are hurriedly putting down photon cannons right now to try and deal with this, but photon cannons cannot see up the ramp. 
That is the key question. These probes are all going to be coming up here to try and kill off the queen. But is it going to work? I don't think so, seeing as the spine crawler on the field. And lots of roaches about to pop out these eggs. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Spouser is in a really, really difficult position right now. I mean, it would have been nice if the queen had survived. Maybe a creep tuner could have been put down. Obviously, um... Would have been nice to be able to inject the lava as well. And I'm sure we're going to see some micro here. Well, not. The zealot is just going to go away. And that is absolutely fine. Indeed, the spine core is repositioning as to attack the cybernetics core. Of course, the cybernetics core, the key method of gaining stalkers for Protoss. Well, the expansion right here from Nicky Boy has actually bitten the dust as well. Just a side note, but I think Spouser is in a lot of trouble right now. A lot of trouble indeed, and Spouser leaves the game, as there is virtually nothing else he could do to repair the situation. Oh dear, oh dear Spouser, that was a bit unfortunate, wasn't it really? Nice one, Nicky Boy, nice one indeed, and that is what Protoss get when they do not scout their base, and I do kind of believe that Spouser wasted a lot of minerals here on... Well, I mean, he didn't really waste them. He did take down a hatchery. He did delay a lot of mining time. And he forced Nicky Boy to really d rely on the fact that the hatchery was going to work. Of course it did. Therefore, Nicky Boy has really nothing to worry about. But nice one. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's just a short game. I, this was pretty much just a check um, to see if I was getting that video issue. But it doesn't look like I am. So we are all happy. It's all farts and rainbows over here in merry old England. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day, and I will see you next time, I suppose. Bye.